Hi, this is Barb, and today we're going to go over logging in to the portal and uh, changing passwords. So, um, in order to log in, where you can go is to our homepage, which is neuroglobal.com. And once you've got there, you can look up here, and right up on the right-hand side, there's a little button that says Client Login. You've also got the Facebook Like. If you remember Facebook and you want to click on Like there, that would be fantastic. And, uh, you know, we do run contests every month or so, a free dinner or Tim's card or, or Starbucks card or something. So you want to get in on that, too. And in order to log into the system, you just simply click on the Client Login button. And then you enter your username and password, which takes you straight into the portal. You always come into the home page. And so from there, in order to change your password, it would be on the administration tab. Now, everyone, no matter what kind of permissions you have within the portal, is able to uh, change their own password. If you have uh, permissions that allow you to make changes within the system, you can reset other people's passwords for them as well. So we just click on the administration tab. This takes us in here. Uh, if you don't have permissions to make changes, you're just going to come up with your um, user information and, and to be able to enter the password, which we'll get to in a second here. So um, in order for us to get to the user, we just click on the users on the side here on the left, on the, about halfway down. And then you have a list of users in the system. You just click on the user who you're going to change and you get to this page. This is the page where if you didn't have permissions to make changes, this is the page that would automatically pop up when you click on the administration tab. And in order to change the password, simply highlight it and, or, and just delete it and enter the new password. And then you confirm it by entering it again. And you click, there's two spots, either on the top here there's a save button, or if you scroll down on the bottom, there's a save button. And this is also where you would change a username if you wanted to, or um, the spelling of a name if you needed to edit it, or phone numbers if they change, or if you wanted to add another ad email address, anything like that. You click Save. If you're logged in as yourself, it will log you out, in which case you can enter back in. If you change someone else's password, it will let you know that they are being sent an email that will um, just let the, the actual user know what their new password would be. When you change your own, you obviously get the email that tells you what the password will be. So that way, um, you know, if someone changes your password, you would get an email with the new password in it. Okay, so that's really simple. On the users, click on the username, enter the new password, and confirm it by entering it again and click save and that's all there is to it. Thanks for joining us today. Bye-bye.